Hey guys, Amanda Rouse here with AZ Health Zone and Lola Paz Health Education and Prevention Program, and we're back with another delicious episode of Food for Thought, one that you won't want to miss. This week's episode features our favorite food for thought yet. It happened to be this mouth-watering avocado breakfast bruschetta. Before starting this recipe, we washed our hands with warm water and soap. Then we turned on our stove, added a little salt into the water to help prevent the eggs from cracking while boiling. We then grabbed our serrated bread knife, but if you do not have a serrated knife, any longer knife will do. We then cut our whole wheat baguette bread at an angle for easier spreading and then placed it in the toaster. We did watch it carefully so that it would not over toast and get too hard and we just set aside the bread. Now take your chef's knife and cut up your two green onions, making sure to rock back and forth with the knife, trying not to lift it. And if you like smaller chunks of onion, go back over it. And then do the same for the tomatoes. The next thing we wanted to show you was an up close shot of how to de-pit and slice an avocado. The first thing we did was slice the avocado through the middle and twist it off so you have two halves. We take our paring knife and slice rows into the avocado making sure not to go all the way through the skin and we do it again on the opposite side creating little avocado squares. Then we grab our spoon and twist it all the way around to get all the avocado out. Now to get the pit out you want to be careful and lightly tap the knife into it so that it can grab a hold and then you just want to twist it out. We then added some lime to our mix to stop the avocado from browning, but it is not required or in the recipe. Then it was time to cut up the basil. We first ripped the leaves from the stem, and then the easiest way to cut basil is to roll it and then make your cuts, and then you can always go back over it to get smaller pieces. For easy peel eggs, you want to stick them in ice cold water after you have boiled them. If you have ever had trouble peeling hard boiled eggs before, watch how easy it is after putting them in the ice cold water for about three minutes. Then you just want to cut up your eggs into small chunks and then put all of the ingredients into the bowl and mix it all up, adding pepper for flavor. Just a little information before the end results. This recipe was chosen from azhealthzone.org slash recipes where you can find many healthy recipes just like this one. But if you or anyone you know is struggling for food, reach out to your local food bank for help. And now, the final results. 